So you're wondering how to get your real estate license. Well, that is a popular question. We get calls every single week from people just like you that are asking, how do they get into real estate? And it's a great question. So I'm gonna go over the three things that you need to get started in beginning your real estate career. If we have not met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. We are talking about real estate, real estate marketing, and real estate investing every single week. So if that interests you, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified as we are posting videos all the time. We are in the state of Florida and in the state of Florida, you have to take a 63 hour Florida Real Estate Commission approved pre-licensing course. You have to take the test and then you can begin your application to take the state test to get licensed. That sounds a little bit complicated, but really it can all be done in about a month's time. Now the Florida pre-license course is actually available online. You can do a hybrid where you take a course online and then crash course with somebody in person, or you can look for an in-class real estate licensing course, which is probably available in your area. And you can find that out by just doing a simple Google search for real estate courses in your area. Now you have to pass the test for that real estate course with a 70% in the state of Florida, and then that will allow you to register for the state exam. Now the real estate state exam, you have to pass the 75%, but I have faith in you and I know that you can do it. So now you've passed your real estate course exam, you've applied for your license and you've passed your state exam, but you still can't operate in real estate yet. You actually have to hang your license with the broker. That is the second step to starting your real estate career. So what exactly is a broker and what's the difference between a broker and a real estate licensee? When you are active in real estate for two years, you become eligible to take the broker exam. Now, if you wanted to take it really far, once you take the exam and you pass it, you're now a broker, you can start your own company and realtors can come and work for you. That's exactly what a brokerage is. Now, not all real estate brokers have a brokerage. I can have my broker license and still work under a different brokerage and not take on the responsibility of actually owning the brokerage. So you've heard of companies like eXp Realty, Keller Williams, Berkshire Hathaway, Cobble Banker, those are all brokerages that now that you are licensed, you can go hang your license with them. Now, this is what I suggest that you do. Even before you become licensed, you can actually interview these brokerages. Every brokerage has different things to offer when it comes to education, technology, marketing, mentors, and every realtor is different. So you wanna take the time in educating yourself find out what the different brokerages offer in your area and don't forget they're salespeople so everything is probably going to sound pretty good that's why it's important that you interview at least three to five different brokerages so you have some things to compare to the last step the most important and probably it will take the longest is becoming an expert not only in your field but now as a business owner yep you are a business owner when you get your real estate license you are an independent contractor you're no longer an employee and whether you want to make your business big and elaborate or small you're still a business owner and you've got to educate yourself on that as well so don't forget to calendar some time to improve your knowledge in operating a business now as far as educating yourself in your industry you're going to need to take classes on being a realtor, contract classes, how to be a buyer's agent, how to be a seller's agent, things like that. You're also going to need to find a mentor. If you're not apprenticing under someone, then various brokerages actually have coaches and mentor programs that you can get involved with. And I highly recommend this, at least for the first year in real estate. And then the third thing is keeping yourself educated on marketing trends. Real estate is a marketing business. A long time ago, they put advertisements in the paper. You're not gonna see that now for real estate. So you knowing exactly where buyers are and what they're looking at is gonna be important. So you'll have to educate yourself in the new marketing trends in your real estate industry in your local area. So what are other questions that you have regarding getting your real estate license? Or maybe you have your real estate license and you haven't yet thought of a brokerage or picture brokerage. 
Do you have any questions around that that I could help you answer? I would absolutely love to. So please reach out, text me, call me, or shoot me an email. And if you love this topic and other real estate topics, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified as we are posting videos just like this every single week. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. All right, so we are at a current flip property that's got a lot of problems. Jared wanted to show me why the budget's going up on this one. <laughs>